Hello everyone. Today I will show you how you can analyze a full data set using ChatGPT. So for this, at first you need to open your data set. So the data set is imported in SPSS software. So here are several variables are here like gender, income, age, study hours, CGPA, pre-test CGPA and post-test CGPA. So it basically a data collection from a number of students, their age, income, gender, their study hours and the CGPA of their university. And there are other two variables which are called pre-test CGPA and post-test CGPA. Now we will analyze this data set just using chat GPT. So for doing so at first you need to select all the data set, all the variables in the data set. Now right click and copy with variable names. So here I make the copy. Then I'm going to chat GPT. Then you need to paste it. Just paste the data set here. So after that, just write the analysis that you need for, uh, from ChatGPT. So ChatGPT will basically give you the coding or the syntax that you can easily use in SPSS software to analyze the data. So say for example, I am writing, uh, give me SPSS syntax for descriptive analysis. for descriptive analysis. So it will give me the syntax that I will be e easily using for determining the descriptive analysis. So this is the syntax that is given by ChatGPT. Now let me copy the syntax from here, copy the code and I am going to SPSS again. From here you go to file, you go to new and here it is syntax written. And here you just paste the syntax. So here you can see that uh, for descriptive, the syntax is given by ChatGPT. Now Control A, select all the syntax and click here, run the selection. So here you can see that uh, different statistics are given. Say for example, descriptive statistics is given here the minimum, maximum, mean, standard deviation of the variable. Then again, maybe some of the syntax or there are some errors that that's why this is not created. And however, some of the cross tabulation was created between gender and income. Here, chi-square test is calculated correlation among the variables, the variables that are quantitative variable. Correlation is also created by the syntax. So say for example, in the data set, we want to run a regression analysis. So here if I take CGPA as dependent variable, age and study hours as independent variable, then how can I run the regression? So what you can do, normally what we do, we go to regression, then for, from regression linear, then uh, say in the dependent variable column, we put the CGPA, then study hours and age, we put these two variables in independent column and press okay so the result is given by spss but what if if you do not know the procedure at the time you need to go to chat gpt again then you need to write here that uh, give me give me spss syntax you need to mention the spss syntax syntax for regression analysis regression analysis by taking CGPA as dependent and age study hours as dependent independent so it will give you the syntax for regression analysis so here the regression analysis syntax is given so dependent CGPA math and for your method it is enter the method is taken as enter and age and study hours are taken as the independent variable just copy this code and again you go to your data set and from here again you go to your syntax menu and just paste the syntax here and at first you need to select this then you press ok so you can see that again the result is produced 
the regression result is produced from the syntax that we have given from uh, from our chat GPT so chat GPT so here now say for example you want to run another analysis say for example you want to see the correlation between pretest CGP and post test CGP you can write you can again uh, write the prompt to chat GPT and you, you can use this say for example I want to run a paired sample t-test between these two two variables pretest CGP and post test CGP so here say for example I'm pasting it again give me SPSS syntax SPSS syntax for paired sample t-test or paired t-test between uh, between pretest CGPA pretest CGPA and post test CGPA so I am writing it here pretest CGPA and post test CGPA so it will give me the syntax and I will use the syntax for running the analysis in SPC software so just copy this and here is the explanation given that t test why, why what does it mean and 95 percent confidence interval is taken and you can just copy and go to your data set and again go to file the syntax then paste syntax here and again you at first you need to check the variable name is properly written here or not otherwise the result will not be produced so here you can see the paired sample t-test between pretest CGPA and post-test CGPA is determined by the software itself so this is how you can actually uh, take you can actually use chat GPT for analyzing your data thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe